All right, lesson 107 is area of a complex shape. So we've done this with perimeter. Now we're going to figure out the area. So to figure out the area of this figure, I'm going to divide it into two smaller portions to, find, to make it easier to solve. Now before I do that, I need to find my missing numbers. So I need to figure out what A and B are equal to. So again, my full width is 7. My short width here is 3. So I need to do 7 minus 3 to get B. 7 minus 3 is 4. So B is equal to 4. 4 centimeters. Okay. Same thing with the length. Okay. So I have the full length is 6. My short length that it gives me is 4. So to figure out what A is, I need to do 6 minus 4 which will give me A, so 6 minus 4 is 2. So A is equal to 2 centimeters. Now I can solve for the area. Now to do this, I need to divide the shape into two different rectangles. So I'm going to show two different ways to do that. First way is to extend this line down here. I've divided my shape into two parts, and I'm going to find the area of both parts. So here, I have the first part, I need to find the area of this rectangle. Okay, so that rectangle, my length is 4, see up here, and my width is also 4. If I did 7, that would give me too much, so I need to do 4 times 4. So the area of this shape, 4 times 4, is 16 centimeters squared. Now I'm going to find the, the area of my other shape here. Okay. So that shape, I have my length as 6 and my width as 3. So I'm going to do 6 times 3, which is 18. So this one is 18 centimeters squared. Now I'm going to add together those two, those two areas. So 18 centimeters squared plus 16 centimeters squared. 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry my 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So my total area is 34 centimeters squared. Okay. Now the other way I could split that up, let's erase that. So this light is still 4 and this one is still 2. I can also split that up put it above uh, this way okay so I have a little teeny tiny square and then a big rectangle or two a small rectangle and a big rectangle so in this case I'm going to do the small one first here so my uh, my length is 3 and my width is 2 so I'm going to do 3 times 2 which is 6 now I'm going to go ahead and do the other big rectangle so on this one, my length is 7, and my width is 4. Again, if you do 6, it gives you too much, so you have to do the actual width, or the actual length. So I have 7 times 4, which is equal to 28. So I'm going to add those together now. 28 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry my 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, so I end up with 34 centimeters squared. The, it's the correct either way I do it. Now let me show you what happens if I don't break it up and I just multiply 7 times 6. So 7 times 6 is equal to, 7 times 6 is equal to 42 centimeters squared. Okay, That gives me the area of this entire box, Okay, all the way up and over. Well, this section here, I don't need. I don't have a box there. So it gives me too much area for my shape. Okay. Let's do one more. So this trapezoid can be divided into a rectangle and a triangle. So it wants me to find the area of the trapezoid. So I'm going to divide it up into my rectangle and triangle. Okay. So my rectangle is going to be... 6 inch centimeters by 10 centimeters. Okay. 
So 6 centimeters times 10 centimeters is 60. So there's the area of my, tri is my rectangle. Now for my triangle, I need to figure out what this little portion here is for my base. Because the area of a triangle, remember, is base times height divided by 2. So I have my height. The height is 6. Okay, that's going to be the same here. So the height is 6. I need to figure out what the base is. So to find the base, I'm going to do 14 centimeters and subtract 10 centimeters. Okay, because 14 is the whole amount. 10 is this little portion it's given me. So that gives me 4 centimeters. So the base of my triangle is 4 centimeters. So to find the area, I'm going to do base 4 times height 6 divided by 2. Cancel out. 2 becomes a 1. 4 becomes a 2. I end up with 2 times 6, which is 12 centimeters squared. So I'm going to add that 12 centimeters to the 60 centimeters I already have. So the total area is 72 centimeters squared. Okay. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.